to the club somehow. Whoa. He's a real one, fellas. Yeah, so if anyone finds it, it's This is fire. You gotta love this city, right? You are watching a master at work. What's good, people? It's your boy, Laura Williamson, coming back to you with another one. And today is my official last day in Saigon, a.k.a. Ho Chi Minh City, man. Right now, we're getting ready to have an epic night. I'm going hard. Y'all know when I go hard, I go hard. I'm about to go get my friend, my homegirl, Kat. She is showing me around, man. She's been a great plug in Vietnam. We're going to go out to one of the best clubs in Ho Chi Minh City, man. We're going to hit Broma. And when I tell y'all Broma is lit, it's stupid lit. And we're just going to have a good time, man. She's almost as cool as me. If you even half as cool as me, you might be the coolest man or woman in your city, man. Oh, shit. What's up? What's up? Good? How you feeling? You look nice. Look how you ready to rage. You ready to rage? I always dress like this. Like you ready to rage. I, I talk so good about you. Guys, then I, I talk, cuz I talk good oh, about shit. you. I say you're you're uh, almost as cool as me. Oh, what, really? And if you're even really? as half as cool as me, you're probably the coolest person in your city. So I was telling them about Broma and how I'm in love. With Broma? I'm in love with Broma. Okay, the, Broma is the name of the venue, but okay. the event that you went to is called Pew Pew. Pew so, Pew? Like Pew Pew, yeah. <laughs> so on weekdays it's just Romo, but on weekends it's pew pew. Pew pew, gotcha. I'm not a fan of techno or house you music. Want, no? Yeah, you can give me right on. I don't know how much okay, you cool, drink cool. or hey, 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 hey. We get this is my kinda my last day. It's my last, last day. Last day? Oh you're going to Manila. Yeah, but tomorrow night. Okay. So today's and, your last oh last night to party alright. Yeah, last night's a party. Yeah, so this is the wonderful cat I've been telling you about. She doesn't have her mask on, but she's yawning and shit. Uh, can you can you tell us a little bit about yourself? No. All right, <laughs> and we'll be back later on. <laughs> cat is cat is a good fella, but she's impossible, guys. I'll tell you that. And and she's giving tours for a thousand a day. She's giving, ain't that right? A thousand a day. You'll you'll do that. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. She's like, well, I mean, if you say that. All right, guys. I'm at I'm at twenty dollars for tonight. You know, this this right here cost me a quick dub. It's when you step out the crib. That's when you get your tab started. You did what I was saying. Um, okay, we're gonna make a mixed drink. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stick it into the club somehow. Whoa. And we're gonna fill it in the water bottle. So at the club. You just order one drink at the bar, and then you keep the glass, and you just keep refilling your drink with whatever you snuck. The security is, is, is it, like right is there. there. A, is there a red <laughs> thing going on right now? A what? Is it red right now? Yes. Why? Does that matter? Support. That's five hundred millimeters, and this is another five. So. Oh, yeah, that. That, that. Okay, that's true. We could just finish that in the Uber. Oh, on grab. I mean. About to call my grab, and we're going to Broma, one of the best clubs in Saigon. I promise Only you. Only on the weekends. Only on the weekends, but I'm saying I don't know another club that's lit and it's called during the week though. And, it's, pew -pew. and oh. it's called Pew Pew. Yeah. Jaiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you nailed it. <laughs> oh my God! Look, guys. This is why you have to ha have friends. <laughs> this is why you have to have friends that are from here. Your experience when you're going to another city by yourself is so different. Like the kids um, at Broma, they always go here to like dance because they're dancers. But they like really like battle, angry. like battle. Like type they're shit. just like dancers and they get underpaid, so they just dance as a hobby and they always gather at Broma to like battle each other. It's so lit. Question, can we battle somebody tonight? Um, only if there's a battle vibe going on. Yeah, nah. But, or unless we just no, want to see some the, fuck... The, unless we see some fuck boys that's just chilling. Uh, fuck boys are always going to be there. Uh, but if you want to battle, you should come on Friday. I'm sick of her, you guys. Why? I didn't I'm sick of her, you guys. Look at her. Look at what she's walking She's a real one, fellas. Yeah, so if anyone finds it, it's 
We're in Broma right now. This is one of the best hip. This is probably the best hip hop spot, aka Pew Pew. Shoom, shoom, everybody gonna die. Shoom, shoom, everybody gonna die tonight. <laughs> Did he just say shoom, shoom? Hey, you! I can say nice. Definitely better the first time. It was but better she, on Friday. I'm trying to guilt trip but you. But you told me. You told me. Yeah. You said, what days do you have to go to Broma? Friday. Usually Saturdays are good, but just yesterday. Wow. Let's go to the um, cinema later on. Alright. Gonna go watch Spider Man. This is my last day. I'm about to cry. Such a good movie. Did you cry in the movie? No. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Chilling today, about to go get something to eat. Yeah, good night last night, definitely good night. Got fucked. Mildly fucked. Uh, yo, so I'll let you guys know whenever you go into another country, it's always good to have a tour guide. You gotta be able to pick out the cool people from the creeps, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I met Kat at Broma uh, the first time I went with Amari. Shout out Amari. Luckily, I met her, you know, the conventional way, but. I will tell you, whenever you have a tour guide, it makes your day so much easier. Lights, please. Right now, I'm in the process of trying to find somebody who knows Manila, you know what I'm saying, who knows what's going on. Uh, that way, it's just easier. Like, I don't got to guess too much, you know. Whenever you go places, do whenever you go places, most of the time, you don't know where you're going. You just kind of got to guess. Um, but now, I am about to get prepared to go to Manila. And I'm going to give me something to eat, and then we're going to be out, man. Last day in Vietnam. So I got some food, a little bit of rest and relaxation, man. Now I'm about to go to one of the landmarks here in Saigon called the Vietcom Center or Landmark 81. And it's the second tallest building in Vietnam. And like one, I think like the 18th tallest building in the world. Don't quote me on that. Do some research. Um, but yeah, Kat's going to show me around. She's like, yo, you got to see it before you leave. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see what we got, man. Like I said, man, make sure I get y'all a tour, guys. So you ain't got to do all this guessing on what you should do when you go to the city, man. All right, so it looks like it's a big ass mall. They said it's like 85 stories, so. Uh, 
we about to see. They got a little bit of everything in here. But yeah, man, Asia is known for its malls. It has some of the best malls. They're all brand new looking. They got a skating rink in here. The homie cat, the best tour guide in the world, thousand dollars an hour. I booked for twenty four hours. You know my cousins, they're uh -huh. here. Yeah. You know everybody. <laughs> we live near here. Correction, guys, it's the second tallest building in Southeast Asia, and the biggest building in Vietnam, and the seventeenth biggest in the world, supposedly. Yeah. Spider-Man was dope. We just sat and watched Spider-Man. Definitely one of the better Spider-Man. I like the animated series almost better than the than the, the best trilogy. This is fire. This is just sick. You gotta love this city, right? Right now we're just walking around and this scenery is dope in District 1. I'm ready to see the the Filipino effect because you know <laughs> rank rank the women you fuck with of Latinas. Asia. Latinas yeah. are fucking hot, right? Yeah. So, so the same. Filipinos, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Filipinos are basically Latinas, but Asian. Big, big culture, yeah, big culture. So I'm saying though, rank the the women of Asia like Filipino, be, on, like top five. Like, hot level? Yeah. Okay, Southeast. I'm talking about only Southeast Asia. Right? Okay. Uh, Filipinos and Vietnamese always. That top five. But that's just my preference. Mm -hmm. right? And then who's after that? Vietnamese, Filipinos, Thai, because I like them the most. Mm -hmm. Just like the dark skinned Asians. I love them. Ah, okay. That, that makes sense. Like Cambodians, Vietnamese, Filipinos. <laughs> like dog. Okay, so she said the World Cup happened. Whenever the World Cup happened and Messi kicked everybody's ass. They bet a lot and some people couldn't handle their bets, it sounds like. Is that right? They lose and they can't afford They can't pay shit. <laughs> so they just dump and the bodies just wash downstream. So That's wild. And I know y'all can barely see it, but we're looking at a big ass, dirty ass river. Yeah, it's super Yeah, you can tell, like. Yeah, facts. I may turn into Spider Man, hell. I'll take that chance. <laughs> Come out that big titties. Like, what the? We are about to leave Landmark, man. My time in Vietnam has come to an end. Uh, I'm about to go home, pack, you know what I'm saying, then head to the airport, man. So I definitely suggest you guys come to Ho Chi Minh City, man, because, I mean, look at this. Like, like this is beautiful. Asia is ahead of its time, man. Definitely suggest you come to Ho Chi Minh City, man. Anytime I extend my stay, that means I'm really messing with the city, man. Next time you see me, I'll probably be on my way to the Philippines, man. So y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn that post notifications bell on, man. Peace. Hey, shut your little ass up.